um, different modes stuff. or a different way of playing than um, than the base game. Um, I, I want to say yeah. <laughs> it's, I forget. You know, exactly. well, what I mean is like okay, so you have like the purge, right? Right. But I know they were replacing the purge in Sipta with something else that might have been kind of wave defensey. But I don't think that's done yet. If that makes sense. Hmm. I think there was a dev stream. I, I'm kind of just going off on a brainwave tangent here. Um, but I want to say that they were going to take the purge out of SIPTA. It doesn't work. And they were replacing it with a different kind of a different kind of purge. A new and improved purge. Yes. It's a different a different thing that fits SIPTA better. Um uh, and it used to be you could only get I think thralls from like the center weird uh like yeah, mini black holes or some shit. And now you and can you get them from any other there. players. Or you could get them from any other locations. Yeah you get like camps and stuff. Um so, but the reason the reason I mentioned that is like, for instance, Mala was actually streaming today for the first time in fucking forever, um, and he was streaming a cult defense, and they were going for like wave sixty nine. I don't know if they made it. I had to go do other stuff, but I think when I when I left my computer, it was watching. They were like in wave fifty something, and if you think about in a cult defense in Secret World, how many enemies there are per waves. And it's a it's like a five man group, which means you get more enemies anyways, because it okay. scales the number of enemies to the number of players in a cult defense. So a full five man group, you're getting massive mobs of enemies, and then the higher you go, the stronger they get, and I think the more of them there are. So there's just like this fucking crowds of things. They've got to be blowing through like hundreds of like thousands of enemies in like one of those. Right, you know, right. Long OD attempts. But even if you get through, say, uh, even in one of those, if even if you get through, like, say, two, like two thousand enemies, right? Like, would would that be like a, an overestimation, or would you think that that's a, an appropriate number? I would, I would think under. Under okay, so let's say, like, what would you think is is it actually a good amount for that? Because we can of time? even start at right now. You can start at wave thirty three. I think. Okay. No, you can, wait, can you start higher than that? I know at least 33, that's where I've been. I don't know if you can unlock higher, but I think this like, might be one of the highest things you can start at. Okay. If all you can start at is 33, and they're like in wave 50 something. And you say like there is how many how many enemies per wave would be, think would be a good guess? Like 200? That, that, no, that I can't. I, yeah. I, I don't know if I can guesstimate that. Well, but let's it's say okay. kind of random too, because you don't know. It's a bit random. Are. It depends on the wave yeah. you get. Like for instance, you could get a swarm. Right. When right. a swarm comes, that's just like it's like gotta 10. be like a hundred enemies like by itself or something. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So let's because say there's small there's small enemies, but it spawns a ton of them. And let's we have say, five people, it spawns a lot. Uh let's say maybe five thousand enemies. How about that? I mean, I don't know, it might be a little high. My, my point was more about the number of waves. If you can start at 33 and you're, like, in the wave 50 scenario... Right. You've done, like, 20 fucking waves. Yeah, but but let's say but let's say just, just for giggles that uh, that during that time period that they killed, like, 5,000 enemies, you would still oh, have to okay. have someone do that 10,000 times well, this to, is hit, what I'm saying, to hit 50 I million. Think, <laughs> I don't think that number is accurate either, necessarily. Because... Let's see. Yeah, that number, like 5,000 for the whole time period I'm talking about, is way too low. Okay. Because even if it's like 100 enemies a wave times 20 waves, right? It would be 2,000. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's so, I, I've never tried to count the, the enemies right. in the waves. No, no, it, it's and it, that's what I mean. It's it's a weird thing to count, but um, fifty fifty million for. Well, I guess what what, I, what I'm saying is that's five people doing a call defense. Just yeah. five. Yeah. Now think about the players that are doing doing other things, right? 
Like, mm. look, look for your dailies to get your dailies done. You're killing 150 things by yourself. Right. 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 If and and even if you don't do all your dailies, one of the easiest secondary goal dailies to get is the hundred enemy kill. Cause you just go in Kingsmith and farm the zombies really quick. Right. Right. Or Scorched Desert, uh, where that one mission is, there's just a ton of cultists. And you just like mow through them and that okay, hundred cultists dead. I've killed a hundred bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> I was farming the Udas for the rabbit mask and hit my second tier of challenges and they got a hundred enemies killed. I was like, holy crap, I've killed a hundred bunnies. Just bunnies. But but my point is is that even if you're talking about a large a large figure for what one person can do, you would still yeah. have to have multiple, you know, tens of thousands of people yeah. doing could, that simultaneously we, to even hit, hit fifty million. Could we hit fifty million in a week? Uh, I don't know. Are we doing it now? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but maybe we, like say when sure. the um like when the anniversary, the, when the anniversary starts and they and they had some kind of thing to kill yeah, fifty million creatures in Secret World with some kind of reward, people would grind the holy shit out of it. And oh, we yeah. and at this point <laughs> we are really good at that. Yeah in Secret yeah. World. We just find hey. we just find the, the, the places that just Pop them open, yeah. All you gotta do is hop on top of cars in Kingsmith, and it auto spawns four zombies every time you jump up yeah. in the air, land on the car. Yeah, you just go alarm. through that one little section. It's just one a couple times, and well, you can go through the section. <laughs> what I mean is, you can literally jump on top of a car, and it spawns well, can, four. Yeah, you can it have one person there, and another person going around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like how we used to farm revenants, uh, is you would have someone stand on the revenant spot for that mission in Savage Coast. Mm-hmm. And then, like, everyone else has the mission and just runs in a loop. And mm-hmm. it just keeps spawning revenants. <laughs> <laughs> or the Wendigo farm. Holy crap, the Wendigo farm. You can kill all your Wendigo inside of, like, 15 minutes. It takes one person holding the side mission open. If they're not the person that kills the Wendigo, the Wendigo instantly respawns. And so you have, like, a whole bunch of other people at the p- part where it spawns just mm-hmm. spamming AoEs. And this is what you see happen. Wendigo... <laughs> it literally like appears dies as its body is falling the next one pops into existence and dies it's just this like flood of wendigo just insta dying and you just watch your kill camera go like, it's fucking crazy it's one of the easiest like uh monster kill farms to do is the wendigo one just because it's so fucking instantaneous and it's savage coast so it's a low level Mm-hmm. Right, so it doesn't have a ton of hit points. Like, I, I mean, if you're end game, you can definitely one shot it. But even if you're like mid game, you can probably one shot that one to go. And especially if there's like five people there, or more, I and think just everyone I think, doing it. Yeah, like everyone just spams AOEs, and it's just 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 a fountain of one to go. It's uh, it's my new band name. Found a win to go. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is an awesome band name, sir. <laughs> but yeah, there, there, there are many points in this game where, where it's almost down, almost down to a science how you can have multiple enemies killed. Oh, it is for sure. Yeah, we've been doing like crafting how to do it since the 10k achievements in TSW. <laughs> And maybe it's the same. Maybe it's the same even in Conan Exiles where they're like, you know, oh, if you just sit, yeah, sit in this one place and you've got other people around that you could just, you know, create, yeah, some sort of kill farm easily enough. Oh, I'm, but, I'm sure. Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm sure that, sure it's out there somewhere. Um, But even, even still, even still, I think 50 million is an oh, impressive it's a, it's a number. massive amount, yeah. Yeah. And we For were talking, sure. we were talking beforehand about, um, one of the first events that Secret World itself had, which was uh, back in back in 2013, it was the the end of days event. Which, uh, if you if you were around and remember the end of days, it was based on that Mayan calendar ending, end of the world in some random day in December or something. Um, 
Yeah, something 2012 or... <laughs> something. Or yeah, 2012 or 2013. I, f- I forget the exact year, but it yeah, was... You can, you can see the posters in the uh, Crusades or um, the nightclub there in London. Mm-hmm. But it was it was an event based off of that, basically. And it was uh, all of these Mayans spawning, and when you killed one, another one spawned, and... um. If you killed that one, another one spawned, and there it was a it was a perpetual spawning. And the whole point was that uh, at that point the game was still relatively new, and so there weren't a lot of too high level characters, and so it was basically a kill as many as you can. And it was like the top five people who killed them, or the top ten, I forget, but um, would get a pet, would get a, a very specific pet. In this case, the uh, can I can I bring it out? was the 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 cab hatchling pet and it's uh it is one of my favorite pets <laughs> and it, it's just it's just basically just in a cab just in a cab hatchling but the reason why i have it and uh cuz i was obviously not in the top 5 or 10 because i was just going through savage coast at the time is because so many players were cheesing killing these things by just standing by the wards in Savage Coast that it was basically spawning, auto-killing, spawning, auto-killing, spawning, killing, spawning, killing, and just perpetually just doing that, that Seeker World had to turn around and go, okay, uh, fine, everyone gets everyone gets the reward, everyone who has an account, or everyone, everyone who logged in, maybe killed one, who knows, everyone gets it. Um, because it, because it was cheesed so much. Which I thought was was really cool of them, and it is it is still to this day one of my favorite pets because of that. <laughs> but, is that the uh, hatchling? Yes. Yeah, I don't have that one. You didn't claim it. You didn't. Claim I wasn't playing too. It was, he wasn't. Uh, Jimmy <laughs> yeah, wasn't playing uh, at that time period. <laughs> it's one of the few pets. Yeah, I, mean, I, I have a. I have what? How many pages of pets do I have? A lot. One, two, three, like three and a half pages of pets. And so, because of that, I would call it maybe relatively rare because now they've had they've had different acabs now over the years. They've had like uh, Enrooned or they have they have other other acab pets. A cob. A cob. Son of a bitch. A cab. <laughs> The, the prenumbral hatchling. There's this one. <laughs> Gotta punch you through the through the camera. <laughs> I feel like you're doing it on purpose now. <laughs> A cab. Um. Yeah, call yourself a cab. The the in room. Like the, the aim fist, me sir. <laughs> Get myself a cup of water. My Jersey accent kicking in. <laughs> uh, wow. Down to the car park. Right. They, they got the enrooned Mayan hatchling. Wow, the <laughs> That's one of them. Like, you know, they, they have yeah, other perfect. versions of it, but um, but the original yep. was the, the, the Akab. And you know what I'm sad I never got in the original was the uh, albino drog lord puppy. Okay. It came from Eidolon. The Eidolon raid. Mm-hmm. Nang- Nagapai Corpse Island. Mm-hmm. Right? It was this it was like a super rare drop from the raid. And then you had a roll against everyone else in the ten man raid to get it. Yeah. Assuming you even got to roll on it and someone just didn't jack it for themselves that was in charge of the loot. So I never, I never got a drug lord puppy. Or, uh, sorry, albino drug lord puppy. The albino drug lord puppy. Yeah. yeah. That's that's uh, that that I'm a bit sad I never actually got. Which the drug lord puppy is again also one of my <laughs> another one of my favorites. Yeah, I think you can get the regular one fairly easily, and there's another one from the museum. Hmm. And there's but another yeah, one just for just for getting a lot of uh, just for having a lot of pets. Hollow Point says there's a chance through the Megaversary for the albino one. 
Hold on, I need to make up a contest and give myself a prize. <laughs> Technically. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say if 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 it's something that was uh key to that was only in Secret World and hasn't merged its way over to Secret World Legends yet, it's still in the game, it's still in somewhere. Yeah, the, the Azure Drog Lord puppy is uh That's part of the, the part of the museum. museum. Yeah, there's one. I think one of them is just for like the pet achievement, right? Yeah, that's the one I've got out now. This one. Yeah. I'm standing right in front of it. Yeah, the albino one is is uh, is really cool. I don't think I've ever even seen the albino one. Shoddy has it. So I, I've seen it. He's, he used to summon it frequently. He's very proud of it. Yeah. Um, now I'm wondering if there are any more. I don't see any. It would, the pet window is definitely missing a search function. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going through looking at it just by the little... Um, because the thumbnail. screen window has like an equip preference and a filter, and the pet window just has like owned, oh, unknown no, favorites, and like that's it. It definitely could use, you know, uh, some kind of filter so you can find what the hell you're looking for. <laughs> I'm apparently missing a bunch from the museum that I haven't bothered to get in Legends. I'm pretty sure I had all of them in TSW. What is this? I say, well, your your um, museum's all done out. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I've purchased all the. Oh, uh, so that means you should just be the, able to purchase them. I can buy them. Yeah, I just haven't yeah. spent the marks to do so. Spending them on everything else. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got more. Important things that you rather buy? No, no, that's <laughs> not it. <laughs> so yeah, not, not it at all. I think that was it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I spent a bunch of random money on flip flops I don't intend to wear just to inflate <laughs> the uh, the achievement for the um, fashionista collection. <laughs> it's, it's, I for honestly, I forget that they're there in the museum to buy. Mm-hmm. That's what it is because I've had enough marks at different points to probably be able to get all of them. And I just end up doing something else because I forget that that's a thing that I still need to do. But I'm trying to find what there's this pet that I don't have that I feel like I should. Which one? I don't know what achievement I'm missing. So the achievement's called the Hard Road. The hard road. Yeah. Pretty sure it's one that I don't have. But I don't think I even see that achievement. It's not it's not the long haul. No. No. Okay. I do know the difference between those words. Yeah, <laughs> just just making sure. <laughs> they sound similar. Do they? So, <laughs> do they? It can. Oh, here it is. No, I don't have it yet. Okay. Ah, it's a new one. It's the E17 stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Unfortunately, I don't play at the same times as most of my Cabal. I think a lot of them have finished these without me. Bastards. The Golden Golem. Yep. That's the one. Because I think I had Golden Golem in the old game. Um, but unfortunately I haven't got all the E17 dungeon achievements yet because you really need to run those with a group that's trying and like a consistent yeah. like a consistent group not like a just random five man and unfortunately I basically have time to raid on an, on an EU schedule during my lunch hour and then after raid I, that's it that's all I had time for Mm -hmm. So I don't really get to dungeon with them that much anymore. 
my work's been really busy. So unfortunately, I'm still short like four of the fucking penthouse. Not penthouse. I have penthouse achievement. I'm short like four of the uh, E17 dungeon achievements. Mm. You know, like um, complete darkness war on E17 without anyone dying. Or allowing four minds to die within one second of each other. <laughs> so it's like all pretty much all of them, except for the penthouse one, have two conditions. The first condition being don't die. No one can die in the whole run. And the second being some other modifier. Except penthouse. Penthouse is just straight up don't die. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just don't die. Yeah. Just, and that's what you like, just don't get hit once or something just don't get hit once or twice unless you're the like tank. The, I mean, the other ones are, are like the mayan one that's it's pretty tricky like think about darkness war if you like say or like hit a bunch of mines with eruption you're probably going to kill more than four at once yeah and and so that's a that can be a problem people break that achievement often especially at the um, very end especially during the last boss yeah yeah because it's just a, a shit ton of ads yeah, and you have to be careful not to kill four within one second of each other. And the the whole point of them is basically to kill each one, or to kill them all because then they all just continually respawn. Like one of them I do have, I have this one, but it's still difficult for a lot of people. Hell Eternal is no one can hit the occluding lens on any of the bosses. The the shields, mm-hmm. and the thing is, you can hit the shields. They don't insta kill you. The healer can heal you through. It's a valid strat to just keep shooting and have the healer heal you. But to get the achievement, no one can shoot any of the bosses that have a cooling lens when the lens is up. When the mm. yellow gold shield is up mm-hmm. in Hell Eternal, you can't you can't shoot. And the number of times people accidentally shoot the shield. Oh, it's all like, the time. Oh, achievement gone. Whoops. Yeah. So I but I, I have that one and I have Penthouse. I'm missing the rest of them. Mostly not because of trying for them and failing. Mostly just because there's not having a group to try them with when I'm playing, which is a bit sad. I need to get those. It hasn't been a super big focus though, because I'm over seven key achievement points. It's like, <laughs> what's a hundred more points? That's only seven, you know, thousand one hundred something. Like whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, what am I at? Just for comparison here. Uh, I'm at uh, 3160. Which I think would be would which would be relatively low, but it's uh, but I'm more of a much more um, casual player. Yeah. No, I mean I'm literally missing. Hold on, let's see. Yeah. I am missing 15 achievements in the yeah. whole game. <laughs> That's all that's left. Out of out of all of them, yeah. Yeah. So there's 952. I have 937. Mm. Um There's like an occult defense one I'm missing because it's the which I know you can technically get by yourself. It's just really difficult to get. Mm-hmm. It's um, where is it? C- 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 combo. Oh, that one. Yes. Be yes, hit we, by we've charged about lightning that one before, many times. while standing in the acidic pool and snared by strange attractor while cursed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sweet cookie. So like. Um, theoretically, like it's more like if you're the tank in a five man occult defense group, mm-hmm. you could probably get that in higher waves like, after a few tries. But trying to solo that is like and get all that random crap to happen at once is very difficult. The thing is, once I get that one, it'll trigger two other ones because okay. I've completed stuff, I think, or at least one other one. Oh, I still need to do some, I still need to do some more waves. So I, I guess I have that one to do too, but like it'll trigger a completion achievement, I believe. Uh, so I've completed all the achievements in that one section. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If so, it'll complete two achievements if I get that. 
which would only leave me with 13 achievements left. <laughs> now, one of them is just straight up not going to happen because that's the um, uh, agent collect all the curios of our time. Oh, uh, the one seen. that the one that pretty much nobody has. I like no one has any of those, or there might yeah. be like one floating around or something. That shit, I'm pretty sure that shit's just broken. That's ridiculous. Um, but oh, it is achievable PvP. in some way. I'm missing. I'm missing some some PvP stuff, like some some uh, Shambhala achievements, basically. But you know, I just I, I'm not super available on the weekends. Shambhala has been popping on the weekends though. I was like, but Chambala itself, yeah, has been, um, yeah. has been doing okay. I need about two hundred, no, a hundred and fifty more clothing items, and I'll finally get fashionista. And you so made you your last it. transfer already. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, but but just uh, referencing that Chambala PvP Saturdays, Saturdays between. Uh, 1700 Universal Time and 1900 Universal Time, which would be about 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Pacific, is uh, a time when basically people have designated to come in and play Shambhala. And um, just, just, to, just to have the time, just to keep, you know, just to actually have the PvP that we do have in this game, um, to have it pop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And why not? Because, no, as you fun. said, there's still a lot of uh, achievements for it. There are achievements for it. There are uh, a whole bunch of rewards that you can still get from it. So so why it not? Gives you, it gives you loot bags even if you lose. Mm-hmm. So, you know. No reason not to do it. And the way that right? it's set up is that it doesn't really matter uh, whose side you end up on because the sides the sides it picks for you it's are completely random. random. Yeah. So... so you're eventually going to win a match because you'll eventually end up on the side of someone that knows what they're doing. <laughs> That's right. Like, it's bound to happen. You're, you're not just you always going to end up on the side of the... Uh, the, the you'll, you'll end up on the side of the carrier, and they'll win, and then sometimes you'll end up on the yeah. other side, and you'll get your, your butt handed to you, but that's that's okay. But uh, you can't pre-make it. Like, it, you can't go in as a group. Yeah. You, like, it's just completely random, so eventually... Like you'll 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 win a match. It'll happen. Mm-hmm. It I mean, also doesn't matter. It, it makes it good streak, for people but... who are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sometimes you go on a win streak. Sometimes you go on a lose streak. But eventually you will. Yeah. You will win one for sure. And even if you lose, you're getting like uh, the same loot bag every time, no matter what. Like you get like three green bags, I think every 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 uh, completion. So you're still winning. Yeah, you're winning loot. Like, granted, it doesn't help you with your achievement if you're trying to get the achievement for, like, winning matches. Um, but also, if, like, a, a relatively new player jumps in, I mean, it, I think it will try to uh, balance, right? There is a um, there, there is a universal balance, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I mean, it has, you mean equal footing? It's equal, got equal footing, yeah. Footing. Yeah, yeah, it's got, like, the PvP suits and stuff, so, like, I think, much like the other one, like some of your gear may affect stats, but your base stats are all jacked up and attuned to whatever suit you have on, whether right. it's DPS, healer, or tank. So, kind of like TSW, right? Like you could you could put on blue gear with like an effect, or or maybe slot a glyph or something. And I don't remember actually. I don't remember Legends of Glyphs override the equal footing buff or not. But I'm pretty sure, like, gear effects mm-hmm. work. So, you know, a new person might just have a plain headpiece, whereas you have, like, a headpiece that procs, you know, some damage or, like, the uh, gatekeeper shows up and attacks or something, right? Like, like you can have better... You can have some minor advantages, but... you, but um, Yeah, for the most part, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty even. But then even just the but then as I said the structure of it itself sort of nullifies even that because you're you're choosing you're not choosing what side to be on it's just yeah, randomly you're not choosing, chosen anyway. Well, it's not even about the side because the side is kind of irrelevant again other than the achievements but you have like achievements to win on the moon side or win on the sun side 
which you don't get to pick, by the way. Right. Just randomly right. assigns you. So it's not like you can pick which achievement to work on. Um, it's not like where it was just fully faction based in. Yeah, uh, it just randomly puts world. people on a side, and you want to win whatever side you have to be on. But now you have, I think, like a minute to like prep once you're in there. Mm -hmm. So like you like so you can adjust your number of tanks and healers by just clicking the little thing to give yourself a different suit and then swapping your abilities around. Um, so you know if enough if enough competitive people get in there, you can end up with some decent teams. You know because they'll pick the right roles. Like, right. Oh, we don't yeah. have a healer. I'll go healer, so we don't just all flat out die. Or the or, or the right like balance that. of roles. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Um, and there's also the people that are really, really good at it, um, you know, know the kind of weapon combos and things that work best. Uh, and also, like, literally which direction the wind blows is pretty important. Yeah. <laughs> as odd as that sounds, because the ball has the, like, the, the wind Because it effect, has environmental effects, yeah. Which will literally just knock you off and can knock you completely off the map and kill you. So... Um, you know, but if you're brand if you're brand new, you can totally just lock into like a win. Oh yeah, or or ten. Uh, but you just love, like learn as you go. It's 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 pretty fun. Sort of sort of like the other PvP we have with the Rosen yeah. Brawl. It's just, it's just in the end, it just ends up just being fun. Yeah, I feel like Rosen Brawl is a little even freer, just because you don't have the team constraint. Right. Um. Well, you can just choose or to attack anybody. Gear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, or completely well, not, separated not from gear, gear and abilities. I would say, like, gear, I mean, it's, it's more about the weapons. Hey, Bomber, what, what did Automod do? It ate your hello. Let's see. What? <laughs> did you have some kind of filthy, filthy <laughs> hello? It, it, was, it, was, it was very filthy. <laughs> Creeps in. Twitch, come on. Creeps is not a bad... Creeps? Yeah, that's what it filtered. It's creeps. <laughs> you creep. It's like a insult from the 1950s or something. I don't know. <laughs> Oh man, I made a comment on someone's Twitch today. Uh, it was blue, blue plane. Uh, you know, he he's, he used to be in uh, Faust. Okay. In, in Secret World, um, and I I said something about he was he was making some comment about like uh, his his twitch key being used too much and it was going to like decay or something and have to give him a new one because it's just he's he's streaming that much or something like trying to start him, like making a joke and i was like oh like like your your twitch key is filth encrusted right mm -hmm. like the filth encrusted keys in kaiden yeah, and yeah, yeah. fucking auto mod caught it and i was like really <laughs> really it's like it doesn't it did it not like just the word encrusted I think it was the word filth, maybe. Well, gee, I Wilkins, guess that's not swell. Yeah, golly gee. But like, yeah, I don't know, like how, like it wasn't even the word filthy, right? It's filth. Yeah. I don't know why I would catch that, and yeah, encrusted isn't inherently bad. It's it's basically Twitch's method of just trying to make you a lot more witty when it comes to your insults. <laughs> Like you, we might have to go back to 1950s style insults. Yeah. Like, who is this tallywhacker? <gasps> oh, I'm sure I know, it'll ban you for that. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> You're the kitten's ankles. <laughs> Did you just start talking like Diamond Kyoto? We'll be fine. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure I like the cut of this guy's jib. It'll be like, nope. like, uh, what is he like? Uh, <laughs> give this guy a wooden kimono. Not gonna get canceled for that, because <laughs> no one knows the hell that means. That's right. Just, just need to get to pass through the auto mods by just going to uh, old school, old timey insults. I like yeah, it. 
was like like roaring 20s speak or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. I was trying to think of other diamonds. I know, me too. I I have one on my coaster here. Wait, is it this one? No, it's this one. If you're real good, Dad will come back from the dead to take you off right screen. That's like that's the quote that's on the Oh, that's on yours? On the back of my Nice. Back of my Don't coaster. Be a dunderhead. Mine is uh mine is a, a Kirsten Geary quote. Which is my favorite, which was uh mine is it's kinda hard to see that, but it's uh bury the ultimate secret of the universe in the shallow grave of the fifth page of a Google search and no one would ever find it. <laughs> I like Daniel will come back from the dead to take you out for ice cream. Yeah. I think, I think that's that's pretty sweet. <laughs> Aw. Heartwarming. Yeah. Heartwarming it's secret hard. world posts. A scamp. <laughs> Actually see if that goes through. My kids yeah. my kids would appreciate that. <laughs> I don't know if it counts or you do it. Is it right, yeah. If the, if, the, <laughs> if the streamer no, no, in the no. channel. Automod probably would catch it. It's like, hey, what are you doing there, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Gonna time you out. Streamer. In your own stream. <laughs> <laughs> you just like butts. Yeah. <laughs> He's just He's pushing. He's gone mad with power. Mad, I say. <laughs> <laughs> Two-ton waffle over here. I'm a lovable scamp. We're gonna have to. <laughs> <laughs> but, but. That's what he says when he goes to the grocery store, just randomly. He just randomly says butts. Yeah, he picks up picks oh, up some course. chicken nuggets. He's like butts, butts. I mean, it could be chicken nuggets. <laughs> it could literally be butts. It, it is. <laughs> <laughs> butts and lips. Uh, <laughs> anywho, our second piece of news that we had, which is which is more Secret World related, anyway, is that uh, Bloodwed Mallory, who is a who is a friend of the stream, uh, teased the sixth she might, book. She might be regretting that now. <laughs> yes, right. she's like, oh, I don't know about these guys. Uh, tease the sixth book in the unofficial Legends of the Secret World book series that she has, A Grim Odd Arcane Sky, which is releasing June 17th. Uh, she teased it with a with a YouTube video, uh, a promo that was uh, basically made by Hollow Point and who she says, at Jamie Gale. And okay. Sophie Clausen. And we, we can, can uh, we can go, go ahead and show that. that. Yeah, you guys are probably going to get echoing. Yeah. yeah. No, can can they they echo? Echo? Is it just, just us? No, it's just you. Just, just us. Someone, Someone in chat verified that. that. <laughs> I don't believe them. Them. Am I, Am I echoing? 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 Echo. 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 Rocky Road. Soon. TM. <laughs> That's, That's cool. cool. Yep. yep. 
So she says coming coming spring 2021 there, but it's now sort of into pushing and summer. I've been spring. informed well, this- that it's not summer because that technically starts on a different day. It doesn't matter what the weather is. <laughs> <laughs> This better not be a cone and chop chop type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think it is. It says summer technically begins Sunday, June twentieth, twenty twenty one this year. Yeah, and see, uh, see summer. Oh, no, but, but the book comes out June seventeenth, so it's three days. It's still spring. It would still be spring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but summer Even down here I is when the entire starts. month of June to be summer. Because what the f. <laughs> <laughs> also, your freaking a cob just punched my teddy bear. It does. It does that. What the hell was that about? <laughs> and now my teddy bear sends hearts back. This is an abusive relationship, <laughs> clearly. Literally, just like rams it and knocks it away, and then it's like hard, 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 hard. That's oh, that's, what the, that's what the that's what the cat pet's always done. Yeah, it, it it rams other it rams other pets. See a sweet cookie. It's glomping it. I don't. I'm pretty sure that should have been auto modded. That, that sounds. That, that sounds right. foul. Yeah, that's foul. <laughs> we can't have that on this family friendly show. <laughs> that's 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 that statement is not going to age well. <laughs> also, I'm not sure you've seen my shirt. <laughs> no, should be afraid. I can't. We can't really see it from here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you might. Uh, <laughs> I want to re- rephrase that. Family suspicious stream, maybe? Family know. suspicious. <laughs> oh, they'll be sure in a little bit. <laughs> do we do we wanna do we wanna move on to uh do we have more there or no? A little more. It? A little more. Yeah, there's a couple okay, more. Go things. ahead, go ahead. Uh but as as you saw, the um uh her book the, has her protagonist, which is basically uh, her character that uh, that she's playing, or that she she's playing Secret World and whatnot. Uh, um, uh, but her protagonist, and then is ex- explaining basically the story from her character's point of view. Uh, but ex- exploring in uh, one of the best missions, in my opinion, uh, the vanishing of Tyler Freeborn. I still love that mission. I still think that mission is is oh, it's amazing. It's an, it's an amazing mission. Yeah. I say, but further, you can go and pick up the omnibus of her first three novels, because this would be the sixth novel, but she has a, a an omnibus edition of her first three Secret World novels, uh, which is right now totally for free on Amazon right now, and will be until June 5th. So you can go and pick that up, um, which I highly suggest doing so. I'll put the link in our chat right now. You can go pick up the Omnibus absolutely free, and then uh, from June 1st, so from two days ago, until the launch of A Grim Odd Arcane Sky on June 17th, the first five books of the series are also available at pretty steep discounts as well. And I'll link her Amazon page. Now, of course, these are books that are based on The Secret World. Just (laughs) Knock the teddy bear back again. Uh, but they are completely uh, okay by Funcom to be able to publish herself. That she went ahead and asked Funcom basically, "Hey, I've got these novels, the you know of basically fan fiction. Can I can I go ahead and publish these?" And they were like, "Yeah, sure, go ahead. Why not?" So we think that's really cool, and uh, yes, a, a new a new Bloodwed Mallory book coming out, which I think is really cool. And uh, congrats, Bloodwed, on book number six. And uh, maybe maybe I'll ask to have her on the show again if she if she wants to come on the show. <laughs> yeah, if if we didn't to totally screw that up. Yeah, <laughs> well, we'll, see. Who wants, we'll see. Who wants to be on this show? Maybe closer, maybe closer to the book release date, but that would also be close to the anniversary too. So we'll yeah, yeah, true, true. Yeah, I'm getting the omnibus right now on, on the uh, old Amazons. Uh, 
I say for sure, go pick it up. Support it. Support a uh, a Secret World player and a Secret World fan. Why not? And you, it's right. You can even get the books in paperback in your hands. Oh, like that reminds some me. Kind of cave person. That re- that reminds me of the time when we when we had her on for one of her book releases, and she was like, "I'm gonna give away." one of the books and i forget who won but it was someone who lived in country (laughs) yeah someone someone who lived like eastern europe or something and uh so because otherwise she would just be like oh like here's an, an amazon code or something or she gave away a certain number of them and it was like oh here's the amazon code and they were like yeah that doesn't work here and then she was like okay so i'll just ship you the book then and it was something like I don't even know, like thirty five bucks or something to ship it. <laughs> to ship the one book or something, like <laughs> Yeah. Or like, ooh, ooh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> but so it goes. So it goes. Good yeah. times. Who hasn't shipped things from this show to Eastern Europe, I ask you. We've all had to. Yeah. We've all had to do it. <laughs> uh, I've been there. <laughs> I understand is, how that is. is. This a trick question. I'm not sure. Like the time I won something from Beyond the Veil and never received it because postage to Australia is expensive. Really? Did you? What did you? What did you win? What? Yeah. Because I shipped you stuff. I was in with Beyond the Veil then. But it's not certainly not impossible to ship to Australia. Shot glasses. Huh. Shot glasses? Was I even around for that one? I don't think I was either. Wait, why am I in combat? What the fuck? Because <laughs> my cab, maybe? <laughs> yeah, wh- what is going on? Like, my my red the ringer on my feet triggered. That's super strange. My cab oh. is beating up your uh, your pet. And it's like were, that was an attack. Um, TSW glasses. Oh, I remember it was like a whole thing without like the dog tags and some other uh, products, right? Yeah, I I, I sent Zedley uh, Reese's Easter eggs. Oh, nice. Okay, because they didn't have them yet, and I was like, I got you. I got you covered. <laughs> I picked up some. They were like 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 the Reese's version of like Cadbury eggs. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. They're pretty good. We always generally get a couple of packs of those. Yeah. So I I shipped a package of those to Australia from the screenshot competition. I don't even remember that. That was certainly not when I had any sort of charge for the show. Because oh. the only the only thing that uh, that over the years that I've actually been in charge of sending out was just the T-shirt. So. <laughs> So if you didn't get a t-shirt, it's his fault. Right. If you didn't get a t-shirt, it was my fault. But no, because I, I joined up with um uh the Halloween uh fashion show. Okay. I think that that was All my right. first show with Beyond the Veil. Okay. Yeah, was, I mean that was a fun show. Yeah, that was first time doing it on a Saturday and then with Andy and Nicole and everybody. That was the time that we realized that Andy's character was constantly wearing the face mask because he had somehow messed up his character's head and <laughs> he was wearing uh wearing one of the one of like the smiley face face mask because otherwise he wouldn't actually have a face or something. Or two faces, that's what it was. Yeah. somehow messed up his own character so much that's why he was so relatively averse to to changing just random characters people are like make me tall or make me whatever he'd be like yeah kind of like you have to be someone kind of okay if your character just completely i don't know messed up somehow (laughs) i like the whole i eat them in the car before getting home (laughs) come Oh yeah, You're like I don't want the family getting these. I'll never see them again. You know, I remember at some point finding out that when I was a kid, 
my mom had Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. She just hid them in the freezer, and we never knew about them. And I was like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you feel betrayed. Yeah, because, I mean, this is, like, years later. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, when you were, like, seven or eight. Yeah, I had that shit all the time. It was just, I just hid it in the freezer. You asshole. You couldn't share? Really? Yeah. So, sorry, Zedley, but, I mean, all I could do is just uh, apologize for uh, previous show owners, basically, because I don't have yeah. anything like that to give away. <laughs> It's okay. We're not beyond the veil. Yeah, we're not. We're not beyond we, the veil. We've, uh... <laughs> That's Hollow Sweet Media, and it's yeah. I checked yeah. on them in a while. Yeah, thought they Maybe tried uh... Trek things or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hollow Sweet Media has tried to uh, re reform themselves as mostly a Star Trek podcast thing, and then they started off with like fifty podcasts, like something out of nowhere. Well, you need one for every Star Trek show, and there's easily 50. <laughs> <laughs> for every single one. There are a lot of them. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, <laughs> so are you nine, counting? 10, 11, 12. We don't have all There night. aren't actually 50 <laughs> of them, but yeah. 18, 18 shows. 18 shows. Of Star Trek or of, the, of Hollow Sweet Media? Uh, it's all Star Trek. Oh, okay. 18 shows? Yep. Even that sounds like a lot. Yeah, it is. Star Trek has, like, a shit ton of shows. It's like, that's what I was... I mean, I've to. seen them all. I've watched all of Star Trek. I love Star Trek, but even... Even I'm like, wait, 18? <laughs> wait, no, no. There's there's 17 Star Trek shows. There's one. It's a classic science fiction, fiction and fantasy podcast. Oh no! You are talking about the their their podcast shows. Okay. Yeah. No, I was thinking of actual Star Trek shows. Yeah, how many like, Star Wait Trek shows are there? Oh no no well, Star that, Trek yeah. shows. Let's see this original three hundred TNG, right? uh, Deep Space Nine, right. Voyager, original, yeah, um, right. Discovery, uh, early the original series cartoon, Lower Decks. <laughs> um, oh, I need to see more of Lower Decks. That actually was pretty funny. Lower Decks. So is pretty I good. think there's about. Six, I, I think of. Wait. I don't know. There's One, more. two, more than three, that. four, five, oh. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Oh, okay. And there's some in development. Right, and then well, right, yeah, then you got um, there's the Christopher Pike show at the spinoff. Uh, um, Brave New World? Spock. No, something like that. Yeah, Brave New World. Okay, according to Wik- the Wikipedia, original <laughs> series, animated series, Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, Enterprise, Discovery, short and then a Nickelodeon Trek, show. Picard, Lower Decks. Oh, Picard, yeah. yeah. I forgot Picard. You, you bastard. Right, and then right, then a new one, <laughs> a new Nickelodeon animated show. Uh, what well, if you think about it, this doesn't. This only call. covers the shows. What about games? Well, you got Star Trek Online. You got. Oh, there, there was a whole bunch of uh, like. Old old school shooters, old school FPS is in there, like Elite Force and mm-hmm. um Or even or even the films could be a Armada. Separate category. Right? Each each, yeah, each film. film. But having, having a podcast I mean, about not each film, each film individually. But you could do like films, like original series films, next TNG film. films, Kelvin timeline films, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you could do like a video games. I mean there's uh, there's definitely enough for a shit ton of podcasts. I mean, do they need 18? No. But <laughs> well, I can see how there's theoretically the material there to cover. I yeah. Mean, the yeah. Oh, they, yeah. The, the, the material is, yeah. I mean, how many um, uh, was it? One, one of them that I'm listening to right now is one of Garrett Wong and Robert McNeil. And the, the two two of the characters who or two of the actors who were on Voyager and they're basically going through every episode of Voyager and discussing like, I don't know how, and, and how, Tom, how it holds Tom, up. Tom is right. The podcast dedicated to the lens flares. I mean, <laughs> the, the, the lens flare from the, uh, from the Kelvin timeline. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. But that's Abrams uh, trademark. Anyway. Um, all right. Do you want to do, 
Yes. The other thing? Yes. Yes, we can. <laughs> um, I can, so keep, I I can keep talking link. about Star Trek, yeah. I sent you the link, <laughs> Wobble. Uh, you did? <clears throat> this is this will be a world premiere uh, of a new YouTube video that I made. Okay. I will preface this with a warning. <laughs> this would be considered, like, potentially offensive or explicit content. So, okay. you know, if you're sensitive... Cover your ears. And you don't have to avert your eyes, but cover your ears if you're easily offended. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> but it was, but it was given in basic a general okay by Andy saying Yeah. WTF, yeah I can post this, uh, Jimmy. Theoretically I can post this on the forums after this and we'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Let's let's go ahead. Warning, the following video contains explicit language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Tits. 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 <laughs> Tits. Tits. Fuck. Tits. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Tits. 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 Shit. 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 Tits. Shit. Fuck. Fuck. Tits. Tits. Fuck. 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 Tits. Fuck. Fuck. Tits. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Shit. Cock. 
Cut. 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 S. 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 Tits. 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 Shit. 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 Tits. Fuck. 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 Cock. 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 Fuck. 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 Tits. 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 Fuck. Fuck. Tits. Tits. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Shit. Cock. Cock. Shit. 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 Ass. Shit. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. 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 Cock. Cock. Tits. Ass. Shit. Cock. Tits. Fuck. Fuck. Tits. Tits. Fuck. Fuck. Tits. 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 Shit. Shit. Twat. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Tits. 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 Shit. 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 
Shit. Shit. Shit. Cut. 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 Fuck. Cut. Cut. Fuck. Shit. Shit. Tits. Shit. Shit. Cut. Shit. Shit. Tits. Shit. Shit. Cut. Fuck. Shit. Tits, 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 twat, ass, shit, fuck, tits, fuck, shit. Shit. Cock. 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 Shit. 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 Cock. Cock. Shit. Cock. Cock. Ass. Ass, ass, shit, fuck, boobies, Boobies. <laughs> First real try. <laughs> this has been fucking Lava Game Champion. <laughs> It's brilliant, sir. Um, <laughs> legitimately, when I say first real try, I I went to attempt attempt it, and I said fuck, and I jumped up onto it, so okay. it triggered, and then my kicker jumped like two more times and just jumped off to the side and it broke. Okay. And I went to look at what was going on, and it turns out I've discovered that. The F word is the background signal noise of the universe. Okay. <laughs> because as according to voice attack, mm -hmm. when there's nothing going through my mic at all, just like background noise, it's still it here constantly again. registers as fuck. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like every like five seconds or something, it would just trigger, you've said fuck. And I'm like, I'm not doing anything. I'm not saying anything. I'm not typing on the keyboard. I'm just sitting here. And it'll just start registering the word fuck as being spoken. The, the so cosmic confirm, microwave background. Is, cosmic. Yeah. The, the, the big bang. Yeah. The, rem, the remnants fuck. left over from the big bang. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's just fuck. It's just all fuck. <laughs> <laughs>
So what it was is I had to change the confidence level. Okay. So like the, you can set the level of how sure it is you said something. Yeah. <laughs> I had to set it a lot higher so my character just didn't randomly jump everywhere. Which is why boobies didn't work the first time mm-hmm. because the confidence level was set to like eighty or ninety, and it was like two points below that the first time I said it. Yeah, and, and I guess you had that. Off. Yeah, in, in the beginning there, yeah, saw 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 fuck not not working every time, and I guess because you know it just had to make sure. Yeah, the like I had a well because if I didn't have the confidence level set that high, it would just randomly trigger. <laughs> um, so that's that's one. Of the aspects of the background stories, literally, that's basically the first try. Okay. Like, no joke. Like, I hardly count jumping out of the top of the container and accidentally jumping off due to the mic freaking out to be right, a try. Right. So that's basically legitimately the. the well, first you also real try. you also made the movements very very cautious and very. Well, so like when you when you bind keys to the voice thing, you. Like, it defaults to a certain duration, and they basically just left them alone. So, like, the left and right ticks, right? Mm -hmm. That's just the default, like, 0.01 second of holding the button or something that it defaults to. Right, yeah. And I really didn't mess with it. Um, I messed with forwards once and tried to set it higher. My character went, like, shooting forwards, and I was like, (laughs) okay, no, that doesn't work. Yeah, no, no. Uh, so basically what I did, because jump is still a macro, like the guitar playthrough, the mm-hmm. jump itself is a macro. So when I say fuck, it's triggering a macro that says press forward and jump, right? So yes. my jump is always the a, a precise distance. But that's why I have to really like back up or scooch forwards because I can't control my jump. I can't make, I can't jump long or jump short. Mm-hmm. It's the macro <clears throat> distance. So I have to adjust where I'm jumping from, um, and in order and, to get in order to get like the last final jumps, it has to almost be like the max jump, really. Yeah, I have to be, have to be like right. That's why. Okay, so so when I go backwards, backwards walk is shorter than forwards walk. Yes. So when I'm close to that. an edge, I'll say ass and back up and then forwards to get me closer to the edge. You know what I mean? And that makes and that yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, um, yeah, back that ass up. Funny, <laughs> funny story. I that, yes, yes, ass was backwards. <laughs> yes. But shit was forwards. <laughs> shit was forwards. <laughs> Originally, forwards was going to be fuck, and then I realized that, that the jumping covered more distance than, than the forward adjustment. Okay. And I was going to say fuck a lot more. Like, I was, was going to jump a lot more than forwards. Because originally, I was thinking I'm just going to jump at jumps. Right. But because I use jumps as, like, a way of forward momentum... I was saying that a lot more. So I, and that actually is like a pen drawing I did, by the way. I just drew that on paper, and then I like just took a picture of it, and <laughs> slapped it on the video. <laughs> that that piece of paper was on my keyboard because I can't remember shit. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Short yeah, you gotta have curved notes. Yeah. So I'd be like this. I'd be like this, and like looking down. Like, what is the direction? Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, didn't I didn't occur to me how many right turns? Like I say, tits. I think more than anything else. Oh, so there's <laughs> yeah. well, yeah. If you think about the it, the whole yeah. route is a right turn arc. It's so basically like, yeah. You go a right turn around the you go yeah, on the on I the left uh, side. Yeah. I didn't really contemplate that when I was assigning stuff. Um. So. That, <laughs> <laughs> so um. That was a long evening, and I will explain why, because even more backstory behind this shit mm-hmm. is, so Andy had reset Lava Game on my main character, like reset the achievement, along with Ghastly Valentine, and I did Ghastly Valentine on acoustic guitar, it's like the first guitar achievement I uploaded before I even did the whole playthrough and all that stuff, right? Yeah. But he reset Lava Game at the same time, and I was planning on doing something with it special i just didn't know what and we were talking about voice attack i was like you know what Let's <laughs> our, con- do that. our conversation two weeks ago with uh yeah yeah <laughs> i was like okay i have lava game available on my main character of all things because it was reset like now this this is so dumb and and like <laughs> I, I don't want to it don't, it's not meant to seem braggy it caused me no end of headache but i was on jimmy in the area and i was testing the route i was literally like just practicing jumps 
because like I said, the macro key is like an a certain length of jump. Yes. So I was getting an idea of where I needed to jump from and all that stuff. And I had done a couple of passes, like looking. I was doing one last pass, and I fucking accidentally completed the achievement. Oh, no. I might legitimately be the first person to ever accidentally complete <laughs> Lava Game. Complete Lava Game. I legit was like, okay, I'll jump from here. I'll do this. I'll turn this way. I'll go here. Mm-hmm. And then I jump on the bus, and the fucking thing pops up. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wait, wait, no, no. no. I legitimately accidentally completed Lava Game. I wasn't recording. I wasn't using voice attack. I was just, I was just running the route, mm-hmm. trying, to, trying to, trying like, to, yeah, scientifically get see positions, distances, yeah. And I fucking accidentally completed it, and I was just like, "What the fuck, man!" So I started checking my other characters. Now, Lava Game is one of the things I do first on most of mine, mm-hmm. but I found one of them, the one that I did the. Um, valentine's uh stuff on the the shotgun main character that i just made just for showing that you could run that valentine's mission to level 15 and get the achievement right okay all right i hadn't had lava game on it yet so i was like Fuck, okay sweet i can still do it tonight right yeah yeah but it's like i want to get them the bunny head they didn't have the bunny head I spent the next three hours on my main character farming the Udas. Like, <laughs> goddamn, drop me a bunny head. So then I finally get the bunny head, throw it in the Cabal Bank, hop in the character, transfer it, set all the stuff up, right? <laughs> I record it, and legitimately, first real try, perfect, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, fuck yes. I have the recording. Then... I take the recording. It's like two or three in the morning now, but I like want to finish. Right, right, right. I'm yeah. like, I Your family is just hearing you cursing through through their sleep. But... I throw it in the video editor and I start to check it out. And the sound is fucked. The sound is just really? fucked. It's like every couple of seconds you can hear me sort of say a word and then it just crackles out again. And I'm like, what the f- <gasps> and what the fuck is going on? And, like, I know I record my mic on a different track sometimes, so I'm, like, checking the tracks. I'm, like, I'm freaking out. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I'm, I'm testing, and, like, my OBS, every time I record something and play it, like, the mic's fucked. Like, what the fuck's going on? And I probably spend, like, a goddamn hour trying to figure out why this is fucked. And now I'm just pissed because, like, I blew the first achievement, accidentally completely off game. <laughs> And the second one I did fucking perfect, and now and now the video or the audio, which is the most important part of this, is is just fucked, right? And then at some point I'm doing something. I think I I wanted to go to Twitch to look at something for some reason. Oh, I was gonna try streaming. I was gonna try streaming and see if it was um, do a test stream and see if OBS was streaming right, but not recording the audio right, right? Because I've recorded it through OBS. And I was hosting somebody at the time, and the audio was fucked on there. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. That's fucking weird. Yeah, okay. So my headset uses a USB, like, wireless connector, and somehow it had been knocked partially out of the USB port. So because my headset goes so it was, through voice it was meter, like, it was my, like my headset working. goes through voice meter as the primary yeah, and yeah. Because it was partially disconnected, not all the way. Audio was coming through, but it was fucking up the sound for the act, even the actual speakers because voice meter goes like first device, second device. Yeah, yeah. I literally the video was fine. Everything was perfect. I just spent like three to four a.m. freaking out for no goddamn reason. <laughs> um, and so once that was all sorted out, I was like, oh my god, thank god, I still have the video. Everything's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yo, okay. I got some YouTube audio tracks. There's like some music behind it that I picked out. Um, I did the. I, I took a picture of the, the controls, and I wasn't <laughs> sure what I was gonna do with that at first. And I was like, you know, what? I'll just slap them in the corner. That was no, that was cool. Yeah, that made uh, that uh, <laughs> and then uh, that that basically made it a lot more obvious of what you were doing. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, and like Walmart noticed the steeple. I didn't know what to do with my hands at first, so I figured if you don't see my hands. You might think I'm just... You're just you're playing. faking it on the keyboard. Yeah, yeah. But, so but like, going well, like this the entire time is a little awkward, yeah. I was like, I'll just go like this. 
and then also like just like focusing on what i'm saying and you have to really <laughs> enunciate too like so, yeah especially in order for you to get the uh, the confidence level right yeah when you're repeating a word it doesn't take and then like, at some points you see me get annoyed i'm like tits yeah tits, tits. cock, <laughs> <Piece of shit>. <laughs> cock. <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so i made the thumbnail with like the the um symbols for 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 fucking right so it's uh, like the hash at whatever and then at some point i think the next day i i sent something to andy and i was like hey before i post this on like the forum that's right saying, just fyi i don't want oh, this and I found down. That, yeah can i, get I found that pre-roll like someone made that uh, free use on youtube like the warning explicit whatever oh, okay all right yeah, I, mean, I was going to make something, and then I just found, like, a pre-roll that was free, and I was like, all right, cool. Oh, Slap yeah, that. yeah, I kind of wanted that for a second. I was like, who did Jimmy get to do the voice of the pre-roll? That, that was just interesting. Just some, some random free pre-roll thing on YouTube. Hey, that works. Um, so, yeah, I sent, I sent, I sent that to... I sent that to Andy, and he, he got back to me, like, on... Because it was three-day weekend, he got back to me, I think, like, Tuesday. And, uh... <laughs> he's like, hey, I didn't forget, because I just sent him the link. I didn't, I didn't really say what it was yeah i was just like hey like, just check I, this out yeah. before i post this um just so i don't get in trouble because you know i'm like i swear in my normal videos right like you know when i if i'm doing like an achievement video or something i'm like ah fuck right mm -hmm. like it's not been a, it's never been an issue no but that's not quite the same thing that's yeah it's not the same thing <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that I didn't cause any issues for him or anything like that. So he said, sup, haven't forgotten about this. Like Tuesday morning, like fucking 10 a.m. And then he was like, God, hell <laughs> man, Jimmy, what the hell is this? But then he did say, he did say I love this. <laughs> right, yeah. You're like, you, listen, once you get like two seconds into it, you know exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said, I think it's fine. Your curse words are like normal. There's nothing like super offensive. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh um, this is was it that we were joking about uh last show was basically how uh out of all of the 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 out of all the stunts that you've done and all the many different multiple ways to play, be it on bananas or what have you, that this might be the one that might go viral. This this one, <laughs> I mean, if anything did, it's probably someone shouting tits at their computer over, and over. <laughs> over and over again. Tits. Yeah, I just I I That's didn't funny. contemplate. You know what's funny is I have a picture of the route from when Krampus rockets worked. Okay. And I I Krampus straight up and I came and as I fell down I took a screenshot. Yeah, yeah. I did like little arrows. So you, so you can see the route, and I just never occurred to me like it's basically all right turns. yeah yeah sort of like a um, sort of like a reverse uh nascar yes uh, <laughs> yes it is a reverse nascar it is not left turns it is not left turns it's a right it's turns. all right turns yeah it's all right turns so there's an inordinate amount of tits i think it was like twat like once <laughs> which which direction was that was that it was strafe left. I oh, think. that was strafe. Okay, yeah. Hey, armored scooter. We're not going to have that kind of language here. <laughs> <laughs> armored scooter. Ah, uh, so. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot of. Uh, oh, you know what? Here, I, that's I a lot it. of mod moderation. Um, here, uh, Lovell. This is a uh, case. I just throw that on the stream real quick in case anyone's curious what the route is from above. That is the lava game champion. Right. Route. And so the so the entrance to the scrapyard is uh, is on the right hand side, basically. And lava yeah, game so starts bus, starts in the yeah, back. The, yeah, it starts in the back. And then you just make a big circle. And you end up at the bus. <laughs> But it's basically just all right turns. Um, thanks, Bomber. Yeah, I don't. I made that like a while ago, uh, March of last year, apparently. 
I don't remember if I've uploaded it anywhere. And I think I showed it on stream on one of my streams before. But I should put it somewhere more obvious, I suppose. Maybe on the forums somewhere. Yeah, because it, it is kind of neat to see it from the top and get an idea of like what's going on. Mm-hmm. And uh, now we don't really have the opportunity to to get that view necessarily. Yeah, you can't anymore. do that anymore because Krampus rockets don't work the same way anymore. Yeah, they changed so, that. Um, but yeah, I legitimately think I might be the first person to ever accidentally complete Lava Game. So now I'm wondering what uh, Dev is hanging around watching the stream, though, because my hatchlings seem to have doubled in size. At least... Maybe double. Yeah, that seems larger than it should. Like, does a hatchling hatch? Does it turn into a bigger one? I don't... (laughs) I don't believe like, it does naturally. I've never seen that happen. But it's also not like the giant size that, you know, like they yeah, can make yeah. it periodically. So I don't know. I don't know if the, yeah, that, is that, is that, is that actually a random bug? Who knows? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. But yeah, so that was the, that was the world premiere of the video. Know. And I gave you guys a little. Yes, a little... it was a very, very good world premiere. Give you guys a little backstory. Because, uh, man, what a night that was. <laughs> like, just ups and downs. It was a roller coaster. <clears throat> I mean, imagine thinking that you've now you've now screwed up being able to record the achievement on two characters. And you did it perfect, and you think the video is just garbage. Mm-hmm. It's shot. I was just... I was like, Really? Really? And yeah, three fucking hours farming a bunny head to, <laughs> so that that character was wearing a bunny head when they did it. And could just do it in one shot, too. Right. Well, it had to have the bunny head. You're, you're yeah, absolutely correct on that part. So, it I mean, had that to. That was non-optional. Right, yeah. But, but it took for fucking ever to drop. Um, so, yeah, that was a long night. That was a long night. But it was worth it. In the end, especially once I figured out that I somehow had need my USB stick for the speakers <laughs> slightly out of <laughs> just like slight, just slightly did, enough, just slightly yeah, enough so that it was working, but not didn't work. That would have been a different thing. I would have been yeah. like, "Oh, my speakers aren't working." But yeah, it just oh my god, everything that could go wrong seemed to go wrong. But at least, at, at least if it didn't work the first time, at least you knew that it was. Oh, I knew it was doable. It was sure. doable the second Although time. Like, I, it wouldn't, have, it wouldn't have taken you that many other tries. I, I unless unless it would have, unless it would have been like, um, unless it would have been like you know, oh, you got it on your first try, and then trying your second try, it just would have been like, nope, the bad, the <laughs> the universe is just screaming. The fuck universe you is now. Like you now. <laughs> fuck, fuck, yeah, fuck. I mean, I will. I I know what I'm doing for sure. A lava game, right? Like mm-hmm. I know, I know, but even knowing exactly where to go, like doesn't guarantee you the games or, or like lags not gonna like screw with you, you know. Like a uh, like the desync or something, and especially that that jump to the yellow car from the blue car right. is a, is actually really new. I think I've only done that once before. Normally, I jump from the back of the blue car to the barrel, and then from the barrel up. But I think it was on my guitar playthrough I discovered that I can, at least with the macro jump, I could jump right up to the yellow car. And I just, I don't think you think I'd ever tried that before. It's, it's, I know I could do it with a regular jump because you can actually jump farther. Like you, you can hold forwards longer and therefore jump farther forwards. You know. Hmm. Um. But yeah, that was a newer one. Like you, like you barely catch that. You barely catch that one. And the second to last jump when you jump to the rubber tires, that one's always just like a roll of the dice. Yeah. Like because you can slide off of those. Also, when you're even once you hit the rubber tires, if you think you're good there, sometimes. Um, it- when you go to think. jump up to the cars, the cars are stacked like like this. And sometimes when you jump up, your your hitbox will hit the side of the angled car 
and shoot you sideways off and onto the ground. Oh, yeah. So you can even make the jump to the tires and think you're good. And then it's just like, Ooh. no. Yeah. And it, and that one really sucked. That one hurts when that happens. Because you're like, you made the difficult jump. This should be easy now. And it just decides to wreck you. But yeah. That was the uh, voice attack swearing uh, thing. <laughs> swearing run. I, I think to to actually play the game might actually be harder even than the guitar was. Um, well, especially the um, uh, time tomb, that one. The which one? When you have to go uh, the big boulder at Indiana Jones. Oh my God! Yes. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, so, yeah. So here's the here's here's the biggest issue. You would have to have different voice commands for like running a long distance. Mm-hmm. On the guitar, I can keep strumming the same note, right? Right. Yeah. Like even if I set the walk command to like say hold forwards for like a second or two seconds, I have to keep saying the word consistently, or I keep stopping and starting. I would have to have a second voice command that's like a long run right like hold forwards for three seconds or something i would have to make multiple commands to to be able to to get anywhere at any kind of decent time and the fighting would be just as horrible if not worse than the than the guitar one you know especially because you'd have that thing of like my voice didn't register Mm -hmm. (laughs) to be like you know you're trying to say like um, I don't know. Hammer, and it's like, nope. nope. Hammer, nope. Hammer. Yeah, hammer. And like, the more frustrated you get, I'm sure the worse your tone of word gets. Yeah. <laughs> the more, if the further and further away it gets from, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> it's, I, that's that's why the hands are steepled because you know that you can't just yeah curse willy nilly. You have to curse very. You have to, you have to, <laughs> very properly. Mikey, you have to curse with confidence. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um yeah, oh, oh, I, I can't I can't forget to to say the boobies thing at the end, but that was that was my wife's interjection. She's all you gotta say boobies. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she takes full credit for that. Okay. She wants it all known. Right. The the boobies at the end, that was that was her. She's like, you that gotta was, say uh... you gotta say boobies. Like, all right, I'll sign it to Wayne. Right, so yeah. like I'll do wings at the end for a finish. I'll sign it to boobies. So both so. both both tits and boobies made it in. Yes. 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 <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's why. I, yeah, I guess I guess voice tech would be much. Yeah, it would be much harder that way because it doesn't. You you would have to have right like long run, long run, long run. By it's long run stop, long run stop. Hmm. Yeah, if the long run's long enough, it might carry over like. You know what I mean? If if you have time to say it again, like if you're able to say like run, even if you, even if you just bound to the word run, right? You say run and your character runs forward for like three seconds. You could maybe say run again before it ends. And it triggers and, before and it, it ends should, again. Yeah. It should do the next and keep you running theoretically. Theoretically, right. It has to understand you in that meantime. Honestly, you'd be better off saying like run and it hits num lock and just turns auto run on. Hmm. But, but then stopping would be the problem. <laughs> then you say run yeah, again be... and turn numlock off. Right? You would you would because okay, numlock yeah. turns on and off in the auto run. Right. Yeah, so you stop world. running. So you would stop running if you'd see numlock again. But but even that, that's and that would get you across the map potentially. But as far as like maneuvering in like smaller areas, like yeah, it would You would have I to have a... you would have to have a turn for each almost like every ten degrees or something. <laughs> a chain of fuckity. Can't <laughs> say run to stop. Yeah, so that was the other thing is like I specifically went with short words that hopefully sounded different enough. Because mm-hmm. I was thinking like, you know, you could do like motherfucker, but then like does that trigger fuck? Right, halfway through. It, yeah. So com I, I specifically stayed away from compound words. I wanted short <laughs> short, short expletives uh, swear words right and, and i intentionally flipped them around because i had them actually differently at first but i didn't want to see words like right uh, as right. left and right 
Because mm-hmm. I might alternate left and right really quickly. So I flipped them around. So, like, you know, that's why tits was right and cock was left instead of, like, cunt. I didn't want two C sounds being, like, because because when you're adjusting left and right, you have to go, like, left, left. Oh, wait, that's too far right. And mm-hmm. you don't want another C word because it might get confused or not register properly. So I was I did put some level of thought into the arrangement <laughs> of uh, of words. There is yeah, there is there is method to this madness. It's okay. Yeah, yeah I mean it's madness for sure, but there mm-hmm. is definitely some but there is there is quite the method to it. I say, well, well, you saw it, you saw it here first. <laughs> you did because it's you not did. it's not listed yet. There's only like a couple people that have seen it because I I, I had, so I had to send it to Andy. I think I predicted it as shoddy. Cause he he's never around, but I was like, all right, you gotta check out this dumb thing I did. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, he said something interesting about it too. He said, um, "What did he say?" Oh, I said I say tits a lot, and he's like, "You really do." But you know, after a while, I look at you and think he probably is contemplating what tits even means at this point. <laughs> yes. it's just the vocal noise. <laughs> I, I thought that. Yeah, what was it called? Semantic satiation. I think, or just like uh, it, something at like some that. At some point, yeah. it has no meaning anymore. It's it, in your head. It just sounds. stops. Yeah, it just, it's just a, a a group of sounds, and it just stops meaning words anymore. Yeah. A lava game race. I've I've wanted to do that forever, Scooter. The problem is that uh, there's no really good way to know. Like, um, how do you prove to someone else that you actually have the... Yeah, like, for example, Andy could reset the achievements, right, theoretically, right. on individual <laughs> I, characters. I was, so, someone mentions, like, oh, well, why don't you make it a, a way for, like, you to reset yourself? It's like, well, we do have those t-shirt cannons. It'd be like, okay, let me just point this at you. Yeah. It resets your Lava Game Champion. <laughs> that would actually be really cool. But then, then comes, how do I verify that you got it? Yeah. Right? Like, and you didn't, that's not like a screenshot from before. Yeah, Without it has like to be. everyone streaming, unless, unless a dev is there and can tell under the hood that you've just completed it. Yeah. Right? Then that would work, potentially. Um, but, but yeah, I've always wanted to do a lava game race. I think it'd be fun as hell. But, only the game can tell whether you failed or not, you know? Um... I mean, obviously, like, if you just fall way the fuck off, someone can visually verify that potential. Unless it would have to be, like, a screenshot, but within the screenshot is, like, your character wearing a specific outfit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, s- s- some sort I of... Be... Board. <laughs> I think it would have to be a, um, uh, a dev. Have to be there. Or, or similar, like I said, something similar to uh, to a like someone holding up a newspaper with like the current day's date on it or something to prove that it was, you know, I mean that that's I mean that's how it used to be in the past necessarily, not so much anymore. But um, something like you know, th- I'm gonna set myself in a strange outfit and you have to take a picture of me in the outfit with the result or something like that. I don't know, something something. <laughs> Something very. Either way, it's complex. It's yeah. Yeah. To I mean, to be accurate, I think you have to have a dev there. Could they could literally just check their achievement to see? They would reset it beforehand. You'd have the race, and at the end, they would just check. All right, you finished first. Do you actually have the achievement? Did you get it? Yes. Okay, you won. Right. Like that's that's how you would have to do it. I think. And there's nothing in the inspect that no that that, that has no. uh, achievement points total. Nope. No, like I said, like a de- I think I think a dev could do it, but you would have to be you'd have to have a dev do it. A dev would have to be there, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, no, unless... no, no dev has showed themselves or made. I mean, this hatchling has been much bigger in the past anyway for other for previous shows that we've done, but um, this hatchling has yeah, like but it just doubled in size. It's like I, but no dev has showed themselves, so I don't know. I don't know. That might actually be a bug. Or maybe no, maybe it's a hatchling that grows on purpose. Like it could just be a, like a feature. Maybe it, it'd have to be a newer thing put in. I use this hatchling all the time, and it's never just doubled in size on its own. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I suppose in theory, if you can make an item to reset someone's achievement, you could make an item that lets you see if someone has the achievement already. Okay. Right? Like, like a, like a, like a scanner gun. Yeah, yeah. But I think I don't know how much work that is, and even probably if it's a little bit of work, lot, it's probably yeah. still beyond the pale. <laughs> Because the scope of asking. Because it would have to be like if they take away that achievement from you, then they have to like reverse the number of points and make sure that it takes away the number of points. Because otherwise, I guess they wouldn't want someone yeah. to abuse that of just taking away someone's points and just doing lava game over and over again and accruing the. I don't know. That's. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, I I feel like it could be it could be done, but I mean I don't know if it's worth it. I I've always wanted to have a lava game race though for sure. Also, that would be that would be pretty cool, um, just because like it would be funny to see like a bunch of people scampering around trying to parkour, falling so, like off. simultaneously on top of each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd mm-hmm. be fucking hilarious. I mean, because I because and then if, like if you fail, you just go back and try again because odds are a bunch of people are gonna fail. So just because you fall first doesn't mean you lose. No, you just run back to the beginning and jump on again. So it'd have to be like, uh, in order to, for it to really go, it'd have to be like the top, you know, the well, like, out, out of out of ten, seen... the top nine win things or something like that. So it's have not just s- like as soon as someone finishes, that's it. It's well, no, no, finishes, you could, but everyone you could keeps do going. it as soon as someone finishes because they because that means they made it the whole way, mm-hmm. right? Like that could still be fine. You could have like first, second, third, or whatever you wanted. But like, my point is, it's more like those those. Have you seen those game shows where they're like just. Um, on some slippery foam surface, trying to climb to the top. Yes. And then they'll like slide and fall down and knock into the other ones. And everyone goes back to the bottom. And like, just because you're in the lead doesn't mean you're winning. You could yeah. fall anytime. <laughs> and, and just, and you can fall 10 times and still be the one that wins. If you're the one that gets up to the end first to get right. Yeah. So it'd be like that. Right. Cause it doesn't matter how many times say there are 10 people running. You all could fall like 15 times. Just whoever, Goes back to the beginning, gets on, and makes it all the way to the end with the achievement first is who would win. And that's and that's why you would need the achievement checker. Yes, almost. exactly. Because yeah. mm-hmm. when they get to the end, you need to know that they actually got it. Yeah. And they didn't just like, you know, oh, I fell on the ground, just jump back up and kept going like it didn't happen. Well, like I don't you know need if the you game to be like the uh, huh? like the add the um, speed run counter to when you start it. And then when you finish, I wonder if, I mean, I mean, I have to ask like the modding community. I don't know if there's a way for the mod to check achievements because maybe you can make a mod that reported. Maybe like, because look for the like fail pass fail. So when you start, it starts the achievement. If you fail, then it stops or resets or or just the fact that, um, Maybe, you know, just because we can't see it ourselves doesn't mean that the data can't be seen by somebody else. Mm-hmm. Right. That's what I mean. Like, like, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. No, I get what, like, yeah. Or even if like, cause there are mods that like report, right. There's like mods that like, report to outside the game or something like that. Uh, there've been mods like that before, or like the speed run mod uploads the speed run somewhere. So like in theory, as long as the achievement is something that's accessible by a mod. I know from prior experience talking with modders, there doesn't seem to be a way to run Lava Game without the achievement because once you've done it, like the hooks aren't accessible. I was always curious if like if the hooks are just accessible and you could just hook in even though you'd already have it, right? But I remember talking with some people and I don't think that's the case. But that's a different story than being able to hook into a current gold icon you have on your bar, right? Mm-hmm. Right, right, yeah. So I think that might be more doable, in which case maybe a player-made mod could take care of the checking, and you still would just need a dev to reset people's Lava Game achievements so they could actually enter. Or, honestly, you make a new character. I was Or, yeah, Armored Scooter, I think, suggested that before, that, yeah, you could just, just have everybody make a new character. yeah. Because Although the new, you, the new characters would probably get a lot of aggro from the surrounding. You only ag- the only aggro you get is from the champion. You just have to go kill that. 
There's a champion in one spot of the the route. So he'll aggro. Even if you're over level 50, he'll aggro. I just went and killed him first before my run. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, but yeah, there's a champion there. But actually, I have a video on Icy Claws, who was level 4. And I ran, basically I got into Kingsmith and ran straight there to do Lava Game on stream. First tried it. With the champion chasing me for the last half of the round, <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's or, casting the big fire. Or maybe alien. that's it. Maybe that could just be part of it. Just you know, just oh, hazard. the champion's there. Well, guess what? That's that's part of the <laughs> run, run, bitch, run. That's, that's you. Who, know, who knows who's going after? Ran. Right. That's that's just part of the challenge. Because once you hit the bus, you're by um, oh, uh, what's his Edgar. face, Edgar, and so he'll just go away, and the NPCs have like a gate. Right, like a visible gate around them, so the the mobs go away. Right. So if you actually complete lava game, he he'll go away anyways. It's just that he chases you through the rest of the jumps. Yeah, exactly, scooter race hazard. Yeah. But I mean, realistically, you just, someone would just go kill him. I'm sure. Wow. Um, yeah, probably. It take, like, takes two seconds to kill him if you're if you're remotely above level. I think that's true. Like it's level. it's a race hazard, but it's a race hazard for everyone, and so that does still make it fair. <laughs> well yes and no i guess it depends if you allow them to to attack it on characters that can actually beat it it's super easy to just kill him <laughs> takes like one hit he's like a level 14 champion it's like like god nothing now as level four you have to just run you have to just run because <laughs> you're not going to be able to kill him in any kind of uh decent time but yeah, many times I've gone by there on you know higher level characters and I just use like one ability, dunk. Okay, he's dead. Now let me make the jump. <laughs> you know, because fighting him doesn't break the achievement as long as you don't touch the ground. As long as you don't touch the ground, yeah. Yeah, it's not one of those achievements like the the um, sabotage ones or something where like you know he attacks you and therefore you lose the achievement or something. I recorded a bunch of those. Um, what night was that? You were saying uh, like doing Monday walkthroughs. Night? Yeah, I think it was. I think it was Monday night. I did like seven, did like seven different achievements. Um, but I need to upload them. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. But uh, what I'm, it is something I thought would be like a cool thing to do is just expand the catalog, it's just so there's more. Because I'm all like the achievements just aren't on YouTube. A lot of them. So, um, I'll start doing more of those. Get that, get that SEO going on. <laughs> yeah, You're like this is well, missing, I mean, so I, why not put it on there? Just like I think someone, someone. <laughs> here's the funny part: someone in the Discord was like wanted to show their friend the Black House uh, achievement, and they had done it themselves, but they wanted uh, like a like a more normal version. Okay. And I was like, oh crap, I can't find it. I thought I made one before. I'll make one tonight. No big deal. And I was like, the first one I did was Black House, and I did a bunch of other ones after that. Turns out, I did do the Black House. <laughs> it was in my, it's not on my YouTube, but it was in my Twitch collection. Oh, okay. Uh, and I even oh. looked at my Twitch collection. I just forgot that it's not called the Black House Achievement. It's called Fleeting Visit. And I didn't recognize the name. <laughs> yeah. And the, and the thumbnail called, didn't yeah, show like yeah. the house, so like I I didn't when I was scrolling past shit I didn't I didn't register that fleeting visit is the black house achievement. I just call it the black house achievement. In so college, I recorded that was a different it twice. achievement. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a bunch. There's a bunch that like um, I don't. There's there's a bunch of them that I don't I, or didn't realize that. Um, the name was so of the achievement was so vastly different than the. Um... Well, I did what the other week I did that for with lava game, because I it's because for some reason I kept calling it the floor is lava achievement or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find. Oh wait, well, no, for I'm some reason lava game never one. never came to mind. I was like, yeah, floor is lava. You know what I'm talking about? Nope. <laughs> uh okay i think it's got to be the transylvania ones right yeah so in transylvania selected memories that one's called mission impossible mm -hmm. 
I always just call it Selected Memories. It's the name of the mission that has the achievement. Um, and like for all, like I never remember the cost of magic ones, because the the it cost of magic is having like four achievements in that mission, and the whole thing is called Romany Holiday, right? That gives you ten points, but the individual challenges are called Blood Thief. Ghastly Valentine, Slight of Herb, and like pulling lupine teeth. And okay. the, the the really, really hard one that most people have problems with is the jumping, like disappearing platform. Mm-hmm. That's called Slight of Herb. Who the hell remembers that's called Slight of Herb? <laughs> when you say cost of magic achievement, everyone immediately goes, that's a oh, stupid yes. jumping yeah. puzzle. <laughs> no one talks about the first part or even the acid pool, right? Uh, everyone, everyone will always instantly is like, "Oh yeah, the one with the stupid platforms disappear." So, yeah, I did some of them in Scorched Desert. I think, um, I think I did, I did Clean Getaway, and I did uh, Taking the Initiative, and I did Dial E for Emergency. Okay, and I did. Was that it? I thought I did something else. Mm, oh, Desert Shadow. That's the traitor one. A lot of people didn't didn't know that you can use a sniper rifle there. That's the one I'm, with I'm the traitor guy. Yeah. Which one is that? So in, in Scorch Desert, there's there's the, the you pick up the mission from Sonny, like right in the beginning. Sean. Right. Uh, the traitor. And you have to go like you you break into a couple buildings and you there's like lasers and oh yeah 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 stuff. okay yeah yeah but at the end there's these guards on a rooftop and you can like disable a generator and they go to the generator and you sneak past them up and you fight the one the traitor guy mm-hmm. or you ignore all that shit and go to a different building climb the ladder grab the sniper rifle and shoot him in the head from across the other building yeah i never i don't think i ever knew that one either yeah no yeah, so I was streaming it when I did it, and some people in my stream didn't realize that either. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I've known this since TSW. This has been here a long time. <laughs> I think I only just did that one not too long ago either. I just yeah. redid that one. Yeah. So it, the, because the whole, like, acting the generator, getting the four guards, like, not see you while you do that, and then sneak mm-hmm. around and get up while people have problems with, and it can be kind of glitchy. But the sniper rifle shit works every time. No problem. You just have to know it's there. Um. Yes, yeah, yeah, Scooter. I think Scooter was in my was in my stream actually when I was recording these. Yeah, Scooter didn't Scooter didn't know about it either. But uh, that's the reason I'm recording these, right? It's one of the reasons, anyways. Is uh, you know, get them out there. So if someone wants to look them up on YouTube, they'll be able to to find them. Yeah, I think that's like, why make... I just did it was because I like I was like, oh, I needed to complete another main mission for the day or something like that. And I was like, well, yeah. let me let me try to make it productive. And so I looked at ones that I still didn't get um the unseen achievement for. Mm-hmm. And uh and that was one of them. So yeah, no, I just did that one. Yeah, no, no idea there was a <laughs> It's pretty cool. Yeah. You find this tall ladder around the building opposite, like kind of above. There's like a dead person in a sniper rifle. And you interact with it, and it auto-zooms on him like a mini cinematic. <laughs> Shoots him in the head, he falls over. Then you just jump off the roof and run away, and it finishes the mission. Because in that one, right, there's a, like a whole bunch of guards on right in front of him. Yeah. You get past him anyway, yeah. Well, yeah, you're supposed to like trigger, like I said, you're supposed to trigger the generator as a distraction. Yeah. So then they go look <laughs> at the generator. But instead, just, just shoot Instead, them. just go to a different <laughs> building altogether. Yeah. Find a sniper rifle that's randomly up there and shoot him in the head from across the way. Yeah. And they never know. know you did that. Like, they're all, they're, because he's like up one level from them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they, they, they don't even know he's dead. Fantastic. It's, it's sweet. Now, in TSW, originally, at least uh, for a while, it wasn't triggering the achievement. 
you would actually okay. fail the mission or like fail that tier. You would fail that tier because you didn't go to the other part. So because you took path B instead of path A, it would fail path A and therefore fail the achievement. Mm. And then people like were like, yo, what the hell is this? Why? Well, I'm doing I'm I'm doing the achievement. <laughs> You've got an alternate way to do it. Why am I failing? This doesn't make sense. Um, so they fixed it. I don't know if it was originally in- intended or not, but they fixed it back in TSW. So since since whenever it was fixed in TSW, all the way through Legends, like it's always been a way not only to complete the mission but also get the achievement, and a far easier way to get the achievement. Um, and then the other one that I did is kind of like a you know little TED talk on how the mission works is uh, <laughs> the selected memories one because that's the one where you can jump at the back wall of the room with the documents, like as you fall past it, you hit F and interact with documents through the wall. You okay. literally just jump at the back and, and, and literally as you pass the window, you hit the interact key and you will <laughs> snag the documents. And as long as when you land, you don't move, you won't interrupt the use cast and you'll steal the documents just by having jumped past the window. So you don't have to go like up and distract the guard and get in the building to get the documents and come back out and all that shit. You right. Just jump at the back wall and, and grab them. Which is how you get some legends, some lures. Yeah, there's some legends you can do that way too. Yeah. Um, Ju- and jump then I also snagging did six them. Six of the Father, which gave me freaking heart palpitations back in TSW. <laughs> six of the Father is rough or can be rough. It's got a lot of shit going on in it. Lots of cameras. Lots of lasers. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, do we want to have a a raffle? We can and and the night off. Oh, speaking, of you you oddly enough, you mentioned TED talks, and uh, this is something that I'm yes. trying to do. Um, trying to do TED talks. Well, someone I know who actually just did a TED Talk on um, cryptography. Well, that's cool. Um, I, think she, I think she said it was yet to be posted. But she is uh, so, someone who I have an association with. Not, not a direct friend, but just someone I have an association with. And um, sort of like a, a friend of a friend. But she uh-huh. just did a TED Talk on cryptography. And I was thinking like, there is that that puzzle in Oh yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I know thought, what you're talking about. And so this is this is someone who is actually a professional cryptographer who is into video games as well. And I'm like, how 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 cool would that be? <laughs> it got reposted on the forum. I'm trying to find it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's the, uh, the, the one where the people sent in the puzzle and it's got the little SD cards and all of that, which as far as we know, has not been solved. It's never been solved. And I was like, what if it's been years since that is, uh, that that has been, um, since that's been a thing. Or it's been years since I was a thing, and as far as we know, it's never been solved. And so, I, yeah, so I know someone, <laughs> specifically I'm in a position where I know someone who is a, like, professional cryptographer who has written books on the topic and whatnot, and may actually be kind of into solving it. <laughs> Send them that link. It was it was resurrected. I, I put the link. In a mysterious out. package. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Waffles got it up on the screen. It was resurrected from the old forums. So I don't and, know. I, I I haven't contacted her yet because I don't want to be like, you know, um, but but I feel like I don't want to you know I don't want to come across as hey you know I just know you and you you know this is a a game thing you might be into but more like this is a like this is a puzzle that hasn't been solved. <laughs> it apparently has has a solution, but it has not been solved, and it has been got years. 
Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. It's been for fucking ever. Since uh, 2018. Well, like, once a year, my wife yeah, would be like, me, did anyone ever? Yeah. And, and so I kept thinking, like, like you want to, <laughs> you you want a, a a bit of a bit of cred in the gaming space. <laughs> solving, yeah, solving the Funcom, uh, Secret World mysterious package, might be a small way to get a headline or two. Uh, I'll uh, in sure. the chat. But it's but simultaneously, it's almost like I'd be asking somebody who is way overqualified for such a thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because, he, he, like, it's made by some insane Secret World fan, so I don't think you can be overqualified. Yeah. Because even even if, like, cryptography is your thing, like, you're dealing with puzzles from, an like, clues from an insane person. Right? Like, <laughs> this is what I'm getting at. You're dealing with clues from an insane person. <laughs> but like literally, she said she just did a TED talk, and and due to social distancing, it was more like uh, a talk from basically her home, in in front of a in front of a Zoom thing. And so she was like, "Oh, but she was trying to get like um, people's thoughts on like you know what's being shown in the background." And she was like, "Oh, and even in like the books that I have back there, I've even hidden a small like." <laughs> I've hidden a small cryptography puzzle in like the books that I'm even portraying on the on my bookshelf behind me, sort of thing. I'm like, this might be the person. This might be nope. the individual. Okay, just to clarify, Scooter, this isn't a puzzle from Funcom. This is someone something someone sent to Funcom, and neither Funcom nor the community ever figured it out. Oh yes, yeah. This is something that something they sent to Funcom. Yes. So in 2013, Funcom received a pocket, a package, and it wasn't Oslo. I think the person posted here Oslo. I'm pretty sure it was Tilty's office. I want to say. Mm-hmm. I think it was. Uh, uh... Oh, maybe I can get Tilty involved too, because <laughs> because he was the one that received it. Yeah, I'm I'm almost positive it was the. Oh God, it starts with the N. What is it? The Norway. No, no, no. Oh. The, the U.S. <laughs> The U.S. office. Oh. Um. I don't know. I don't know. It's escaping me, too. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm blinking so hard. It's pissing me off. <laughs> what is the office? Oh. Um, Durham? Oh, that's... What? North Carolina? North Carolina. Yeah. yeah Durham. Yeah. And that's it. I was thinking of, I think. Yeah. Um. Bomber, Bomber, you never tried it? You learned that in 2014. Well, it only showed up in 2013. But regardless, that means it's been like eight years or something. Yeah. Yeah, give it to your to the cryptography person you know and be like, hey, this is an eight-year-old puzzle no one has solved. Right, it's an eight-year-old puzzle no one has solved in a community of people that are, puzzle to, put, to put it lightly, <laughs> trained puzzle <laughs> solvers. But uh, yeah, no, um, and I don't. I don't want to say who it is necessarily because I don't want, you know, in case she says no, I don't want it. Uh, um, but I just keep thinking, holy crap, how cool would that be? <laughs> yeah, I tried. I I remember trying my hand at it. Mm-hmm. I remember trying different stuff. I'm no stranger to like RAR files, and and like password protected RAR files. Mm-hmm. And then trying to just like figure out what the hell the 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 because they they figured out the physical puzzle of like opening the stupid thing and getting the sd cards out right and then it was the sd cards and they were in a specific order and but they each had a specific password but the wrapping the wrapping has like the the message in it to unlock the truth of the void right yeah offset themselves from the tenements of known reality and what the hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, and it's like, and, and it's sort of like the text itself is sort of off in a way too. Like it's also the file names from the SD cards uh, are they're hexadecimal, mm-hmm. and they translate to of unlock void the the truth. Yes, <laughs> which is again most likely unlock the truth of the void. 
But uh-huh. even assuming you put them in the right pattern, you then need the password to uncompress them. Yeah. As far as and I know, I, no one's ever opened. As far as I know, I think open... that's that's where they got stuck. Yeah. Yeah. No one's opened any of the files. But it's almost like, but if she's like such a, if, if she knows ciphers that well and and whatnot, she may be like, oh yeah, no, unlock the truth of the void. It's totally pfft, this. And we'll be like, well, that's that's why you're the professional. That's why you've written books on the topic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I keep for, I keep forgetting to ask her, but uh, yeah, because I don't I don't want it to come across as far as like uh, you know, I want it, I want it to basically be like, but if you solve this, there will probably be some sort of gamer cred, um, like articles and <laughs> whatnot that can be you know. Kind of like, kind of like the same thing. Like you know, Secret World Gamer uh, does hard lava game achievement by cursing all the way through it. It's you know <laughs> it's something you totally see being headlines. Oh, I don't like that the don't Dropbox know. link doesn't look right anymore. That could be a problem. Oh, that could be a big problem. Well, there's also a link to the original thread. Um, and they well, then you have to wonder who actually has that box still. Is that box at Funcom, or did Tilty take it with him? I mean, that's true too. <gasps> Who's a good hatchling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, there's a, there, there's one. There's one up above, I think. Yes, okay. I think the other one is the link that's a. This is what we think is the correct RAR file, and that one is an error. Mm hmm. But the run above it that has all the files, that one works for whatever reason. Uh, so the mysterious box one, that that one works, it looks like. <laughs> it's 42. It's always 42. But what's the question? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what is 7 times 6? No. <laughs> we we went over this. That's not the question. I know. Yeah. I'm still sticking to my answer. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, but yeah. Uh, do we, so on that. Do we want to do a raffle? <laughs> uh. Yes. I, I guess on that question. Yeah. If, if anyone. Uh. What, what what would be the raffle for this time? Uh. Dragon filthy spacesuit. Filthy Ooh. dragon spacesuit. Spacesuit, comma, dragon filthy. Filthy, comma, suit, comma, dragon space. <laughs> that works. Underscore. <laughs> ampersand, ampersand. <laughs> HTTP, colon, slash, slash. slash. Boop. And you guys go echo again, so. Echo. echo. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> so, so if you, if you want, want the uh, uh, echoing. Echoing. so you so want to go, go ahead, ahead and, and, and type, type exclamation, exclamation point join, join in, in chat, chat. Or, is or is it exclamation, exclamation point, point give away, away. Uh, no it's join it, it is, is join, join. Okay. okay for a filthy, filthy dragon, dragon space like, like this, this. As As I, I know, know I don't, I don't have that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Bomber's in two. two. Okay. okay. Exclamation point join. You know you want to. Do it. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 69, 69 seconds. seconds. Now, now 60. Nah. No one. Six six six. Oh yeah, Peter. Do you, you hear, hear the echo? echo? Or, or was it just us to hear the echo? echo? I didn't even chat company. <laughs>
Uh, you guys hear the echo? You, you hear, hear it too? too? <laughs> what were you lying? lying? <laughs> I said, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit! I have a lot of good You said, oh, we Me, you, you farmer. farmer. Let's do this. Five. Four, three, three, two, one, and it's a mighty. You can drop on your drugs. I gotta get a baby chat. I'm gonna need people to hold my ID. Yeah. Rigged. rigged. Totally rigged. I'm gonna need three forms of ID, sir. Oh, okay. I have my um my vaccine card. Does that count? That's <laughs> one. Man, they did not like it when I showed up for my second shot and didn't bring the card from the first one. Oh, I yeah, bet. I was, yeah. real pissy about it. <laughs> I was like, really? Just give me a new card. <laughs> Shut up. They're afraid you're gonna sell it on the black market or something. <laughs> I was like, I didn't remember to bring the packet from the last time because it was two weeks ago. <laughs> it's lost in my house somewhere now. <laughs> people are people are getting theirs uh, laminated. I've just got mine like just thrown on my desk somewhere. Oh, mine's in my wallet, but it's not laminated. You got a packet? I only got the, well, no. So when I got the first shot, they gave me this packet with like the card and some information and like a sheet they wanted you to fill out for when you came back to the second shot. Really? So I just go for the okay. second shot with like no piece of paper and no card. And they're like, hmm. Yeah, so, for us, it, for us, it's only like a like a three by four, like it just a, yeah, three, a little, the, little yeah, three by four the card. card. Is the same, but they. Well, wanted, you didn't need to like, bring this, anything else. So what, for the first shot, no. But for the second one, they wanted you to bring back the card so they can put the second thing on it. And they want they want that paper back that's got some, like, information on it. Like, like they want you to fill out, you know, do you have history of or whatever. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Sure. So, like. They just asked. But they were like, do you just have it? No? Cool. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> right. I right. We have, we have the chip. They can just scan us. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, you guys In got Intel inside. <laughs> so, yeah, I just, but their their whole incentive is just get people vaccinated, right? It's not like they're not going to give you the second shot. Like that's right, not yeah. going to happen. They're like, you I know what? Like, just, we don't care if it's, if your first or second shot. Just <laughs> just take it. I was like, well, I'm not I'm not just randomly going to places getting extra shots. Okay, like <laughs> that's not happening. <laughs> they probably are though, actually. I mean, All but they the had shots. my name down for the appointment. Like, I, they could see yeah. I had my first appointment and when, and my second appointment and when. It's like they don't know. Yeah, true, true. So I was like, just, I, I forgot it. Okay, I don't know. I don't know where it is. It's probably on a desk somewhere under some other. <laughs> it's, in, it's in a database. Yeah, it's somewhere. Just, just do it. So yeah, but they, they still made me fill out the stupid paper. I was really hoping I'd skip that. <laughs> I was like, really? Why? Just like. No, it doesn't matter. You're making me sit for 15 minutes to see if I die, anyways. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Um, but but yeah, yeah. I totally forgot my little packet when I went there. When I came back home, it was like right there on my desk, <laughs> <laughs> like right at the top. Like, oh, that's where I was. You're like, yep. Mm -hmm. I just didn't look before I left the house. To be perfectly honest. I could I could understand that. But yeah. That's all good. So did you get your you got your spacesuit? Yes. Oh, I should put it on. Your filthy dragon spacesuit. Was it space you... comma suit comma drag comma filthy comma on? Yep. <laughs> Ooh, my. way too many commas. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. That might be the worst one of the night. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs>
Um, now I forget what it was called. What was it? Oh, space food. That's right. <laughs> Why do I not see it? Oh, there it is. Space Sweep Filthy. Oh, yeah. And it's so oh. filthy. It's pretty sweet. Like how the, the shades, shades still go through it. But yeah, they're, they're underneath. Yeah, I mean, the bunny head goes through it. That's right. <laughs> I like the... Probably one of the worst, yeah, probably one of the best things is people worry about stuff clipping and Secret World's like, no, everything can clip. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you put it on your head, it's gonna show. Yeah, I like all the like the the yeah, you could like, take it off. Like, hand marks on the side or whatever. Oh yeah. Yeah, those right? handprints. Yeah, and it's just the crack the crack shield and all that stuff. It's pretty it's pretty sweet. Like aspartame aftertaste. Is there a car wash in the game? I don't think so. I think you're looking for Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> that is car washes. Yeah, you... Paint and spray. Yeah, yeah. Paint and spray. Uh, there's a gas station. There's plenty of gas stations, yeah. There's gas stations. I don't think I... I can't recall seeing a car wash. No. I, I'm I... pretty pretty sure there's not, yeah. That said... I mean, maybe I just glossed over it. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure just Cycoil gas stations. Yeah. So we have, there's diners, gas Dragons stations. Dragons and dives. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> to Susie's Flavortown, diners. Transylvania. <laughs> Any drug can be a car wash if you try hard enough. I'm pretty sure that's some kind of hate crime. <laughs> yeah. Blah. Maybe like 40 states. Is there not, is there not a gas station elsewhere other than those two zones? Drog sauce. Instead of donkey sauce. Never mind. I'm just... <laughs> I'm making I'm making diners, drive-ins, and dives references. To yeah, that, yeah, But then you also said the word donkey sauce. So yeah, doing yeah. the own joke. That's not right. That's <laughs> that's not right Which at in all. Itself is not right at all. Right. <laughs> no, there's a line that we don't cross, <laughs> and we that, don't know listen. where it is. But we'll now find it getting, <laughs> now I'm banned. Now we're banned from from Twitch. <laughs> It was like that previous donkey video, sauce. that was epic. <laughs> Mentioning donkey sauce, that's the line. Get out. Yeah. I mean, it's fair. It's fair. Wow. I'll accept that. Hey, Gas station in Sor- Scorch Desert, right? Right. There's one there too. Yeah. Uh, so we got Automod with the words Jimmy, nice, <laughs> and sex. <laughs> Jimmy is not allowed. Nope. Neither is nice. Wait, why is nice not allowed? Maybe because know. it was just next to one of the other words? No, I think it's, just, it's, it's just drunk. It's just drunk right now. <laughs> See, I'll allow it. Permitted term, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, yeah, Dang the it. nice video of the drug sex life. Oh, maybe that's it. Yeah, Jimmy got nice. <laughs> yeah, no, because I was, okay, when I was streaming, I was in the harbor and uh, I showed everyone, you can see the drog life cycle. Oh, okay. Like, oh, and we caught footage of a threesome. There's two brood witches trying to impregnate the same zombie to turn it into an incubator. <laughs> like, they were both casting the impregnate cast at the same the same uh, drowned mariner zombie. Okay. And yeah. then it turned into an incubator and, like, wall right, Bomber, see you later. Have a good night. Have a, have a good night, hey, Bomber. Bomber. Yeah, actually, on that note... Um... On, on the threesome drug on life cycle. The note. threesome threesome <laughs> drug note. You're like y'all have never seen a drug threesome before. Come on now, <laughs> it's every Friday. Come check it out. <laughs> Drugs going wild. Drugs going wild. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. On that note. Uh, just to, to, to recap some of the news that we that we did have before, uh, Conan Exiles Isle of Sipta officially launched. 
if you if you have not purchased Conan Exiles yet, you can get it at a very steep discount right now on Steam. Um, go check that out. Uh, Bloodwed Mallory's uh, book will be releasing on June seventeenth. Her sixth book in the unofficial Legends of the Secret World series. And if you want, you can go pick up the omnibus of the first three novels totally for free right now on Amazon. Uh, I'll go ahead and copy the link to that one more time. Uh, just in case. Uh, but then also go check out her other books. The, the, her fifth book and sixth book of the series, or uh, fourth and fifth book are currently also on sale until the 17th, until a grim, odd, arcane sky launches for her. And uh, yes, I'm sure Jimmy will then be <laughs> posting his video for all to see. Spread it yes. far and wide. <laughs> I feel like many people will enjoy that. Hit up um, the forums and the Reddit. <laughs> the forums and the Reddits and the Twitches and the uh, and the Twitters and yeah, maybe not a Facebook. Facebook Facebook's a little weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. With Facebook, you can be uh, blocked for. All the word, the naughty words. Oh, this is too naughty. It's <laughs> naughty. <laughs> I like how you guys turned British when you said that. <laughs> we did, yes. Shameful. Naughty, naughty. Uh, so. Uh, Cheeky agents, monkey, you. <laughs> this has been the Zero Point Report. Strain 42-IOS. You can catch us recording live every other Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time here on the Zero Point Report Twitch channel where you can also join us and chat with us while we do the show live or download our show wherever podcasts are found so you can listen to us on the go. Jimmy, where can we find you online? The bottom of a picture of Margarita. Oh, dang right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Jimmy the Rabbit. JimmyTheRabbit.com. YouTube.com slash Jimmy the Rabbit. And at one Jimmy the Rabbit on Twitter. Good times, good times. Uh, two Ton Waffle, where can we find you online? Same place as Jimmy. Right next to him. Get out right of my next house. to him. <laughs> same place again. Uh, same Twitch, uh, Twitter. Name is right here. Two Ton Waffle. It's easy to find. I'm everywhere. And, you know, never mind. Is there a one ton waffle? And nowhere. <laughs> and nowhere. Yes, thank you. No, there is no one ton waffle. Mm. I ate them. That would that would make you two tons. That's right. That's how that's how it goes. That's how it works. Yeah. Science. And I'm <laughs> and I'm Ocho, and you can find me both on Twitter and here on Twitch at Big Mikey Ocho. Um, you can get in touch with uh, you can get in touch with us by engaging with the show on Twitter at Zero Point Report, emailing us at the Zero Point Report at gmail.com, checking out previous shows on our YouTube channel, and joining us on our Discord server, both named the Zero Point Report. Go figure. From all of us here at the Zero Point Report, we want to thank you for tuning in and wish you all the best from the Secret World. Have a good night, everybody, and we'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody. Later.